This plastic tub contains lacewing eggs and some food to get them started in life. Upon arrival, they will most likely still be in the egg stage. You may need to wait a day or two for them to hatch. When they first emerge, your lacewing larvae are very tiny and difficult to see in amongst the chaff and shredded paper we provide for them as refuge. Remember that lacewings are voracious predators. They will start to consume each other if they run out of food. If you want to get a better idea of their numbers and activity, you can tip the contents of a tub onto a piece of white paper. We suggest you watch your lacewings closely as they develop in the tubs and be prepared to release them when they have changed into the second life stage. This will be easy to detect as they suddenly seem to increase in size. At this point, they are ready to tackle almost anything that comes in their way. To release your lacewings into your crop or garden, you can tip them gently directly onto the plants, preferably where pests are active. In shrubs, trees and vines, we suggest you use a lacewing release box to help them find their way easily onto the plant to start their work.